Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to update your SSH keys from Bitbucket. Basically Bitbucket recently announced that they needed to rotate the Bitbucket Cloud RSA SSH host keys and apparently there was a breach and you can read more about it on their website. But in this video I'm going to show you how to update these keys on your Unix or Linux server. So let's get started. So this is the email that I received this morning saying hello Bitbucket Cloud users as announced previously we rotated Bitbucket Cloud RSA SSH host key today which is date if you did not transition your SSH keys to use ECDSA or ED25519 SSH keys and experiencing broken connections to Bitbucket which we are please follow the following instructions so if you click on following the, these are the instructions so if you scroll down, these are the new keys and if and as of the 20th of June these are the new host keys and the fingerprint keys. So I'll be removing the old DSA host keys. So let's see whether we're impacted. It's got the instructions here. To verify which host keys your SSH client is using, you need to run this command. So let me run this command. And as you can see here, it's got a warning message. The host identification has changed. It's possible someone is doing something nasty. So what you need to do now is you need to add these keys. So if you've got issues saying to go to step two, and then you got to configure your client to trust the new keys. In order to do that, you need to regenerate the keys and then hit paste and there we go. It's downloaded and added the the new keys to the host known host file and then just reconfirm. Okay, let me clear it. Now I'm just going to run this command again to check the host info and now it's using ECDSA host key so that's correct for the IP address are you sure you want to continue connecting say yes and you're done now if you want to get rid of this message asking you to connect all the time what you can do is modify the known host file so let me show you this and just remember this IP address basically in the known host file there is another entry for that IP address which you have to remove so let me show you that so if we're just gonna edit that and then let me look for that IP address and it will most likely be this RSA one so delete this one as so we'll get rid of that and let's see what happens now and still the same error so what you can do now and just back it up first So you copy that back up, then let's edit this. Let's delete all of them. You can delete that file if you wanted to. Let's run this again, say yes now it's gonna add it it's been added try it again and there you go that message doesn't come up anymore are you sure you want to connect to continue and that's it if this video helped you anyway please give it a like and subscribe to the channel